Tamil Nadu Tamil Nadu Tamil pronunciation T Ami N A U listen Tamil country formerly Madras state is one of the 29 states of India its capital and largest city is Chennai formerly known as Madras Tamil Nadu lies in the southernmost part of the Indian subcontinent and is bordered by the Union Territory of Puducherry and the South Indian states of Kerala, Karnataka, and Andhra Pradesh. It is bounded by the Eastern Ghats on the north, by the Nilgiri Mountains, the Anamalai Hills, and Kerala on the west, by the Bay of Bengal in the east, by the Gulf of Manar and the Palk Strait on the southeast, and by the Indian Ocean on the south. The state shares a maritime border with the nation of Sri Lanka. Tamil Nadu is the 11th largest Indian state by area and the 6th largest state by population. It has high HDI ranking among Indian states as of 2015. The economy of Tamil Nadu is the second largest state economy in India with 15.96 lakh rupees crore $220 billion in gross domestic product after Maharashtra and a per capita GDP of 167,000 rupees $2,300. It was ranked as one of the top seven developed states in India based on a multidimensional development index in a 2013 report published by the Reserve Bank of India. Its official language is Tamil, which is one of the longest surviving classical languages in the world. The state is home to a number of historic buildings, multi-religious pilgrimage sites, hill stations and eight World Heritage Sites. The people of Tamil Nadu have continued to develop their cultural heritage in terms of music, dance, literature, theatre, cuisine, and other art forms. History Prehistory Archaeological evidence points to this area being one of the longest continuous habitations in the Indian peninsula. In Atirampakam, archaeologists from the Sharma Centre for Heritage Education excavated ancient stone tools which suggests that a human-like population existed in the Tamil Nadu region somewhere around 300,000 years before Homo sapiens arrived from Africa. In Attakanalore, 24 kilometers 15 miles from Tirunelveli, archaeologists from the Archaeological Survey of India unearthed 169 clay urns containing human skulls, skeletons, bones, husks, grains of rice, charred rice and Celts of the Neolithic period, 3,800 years ago. The Asi archaeologists have proposed that the script used at that site is very rudimentary. Tamil Brahmi. Attakanalore has been announced as an archaeological site for further excavation and studies. About 60% of the total epigraphical inscriptions found by the Asi in India are from Tamil Nadu, and most of these are in the Tamil language. A new study of indigenous Australian DNA suggests there was some form of migration from India to Australia about 4,000 years ago. Genetic evidence suggests that just over four millennia ago a group of Indian travellers landed in Australia and stayed. The evidence emerged a few years ago after a group of Aboriginal men's Y chromosomes matched with Y chromosomes typically found in Indians. The study found a pattern of SNPs that is found in genetics of Dravidian speakers from South India. Topic: <laughs> Indus Valley script between 2000 and 1500 BCE. Topic. A Neolithic stone kelt a handheld axe with the Indus script on it was discovered at Sembian Kandir near Mayaladutharai in Tamil Nadu. According to epigraphist Iravadam Mahadevan, this was the first datable artifact bearing the Indus script to be found in Tamil Nadu. According to Mahadevan, the find was evidence of the use of the Harappan language, and therefore that the Neolithic people of the Tamil country spoke a Harappan language. The date of the Celt was estimated at between 1500 BCE and 2000 BCE. Topic: Sangam period 300 BCE to 300 CE. Topic: The early history of the people and rulers of Tamil Nadu is a topic in Tamil literary sources known as Sangam literature. Numismatic, archaeological and literary sources corroborate that the Sangam period lasted for about six centuries, from 300 BC to AD 300. 
The recent excavations in Alagankulam archaeological site suggests that Alagankulam is one of the important trade center or port city in Sangam era. <laughs> Bhakti movement the Bhakti movement originated in Tamil-speaking region of South India and spread northwards through India. The Bhakti movement was a rapid growth of Bhakti beginning in this region with the Saiva Nayanars 4th -10th centuries and the Vaisnava Alvars who spread Bhakti poetry and devotion. The Alwars and Nayanmars were instrumental in propagating the Bhakti tradition. <laughs> Medieval period 600 Topic. During the 4th to 8th centuries, Tamil Nadu saw the rise of the Pallava dynasty under Mahendravarman I and his son Mamala Narasimhavarman I. The Pallavas ruled parts of South India with Kanchipuram as their capital. Tamil architecture reached its peak during Pallava rule. Narasimhavarman II built the Shore Temple which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Much later, the Pallavas were replaced by the Chola dynasty as the dominant kingdom in the 9th century and they in turn were replaced by the Pandyan dynasty in the 13th century. The Pandyan capital Madurai was in the deep south away from the coast. They had extensive trade links with the Southeast Asian maritime empires of Srivijaya and their successors, as well as contacts, even formal diplomatic contacts, reaching as far as the Roman Empire. During the 13th century, Marco Polo mentioned the Pandyas as the richest empire in existence. Temples such as the Meenakshi Amman Temple at Madurai and Nelayapar Temple at Tirunelveli are the best examples of Pandyan temple architecture. The Pandyas excelled in both trade and literature. They controlled the pearl fisheries along the south coast of India, between Sri Lanka and India, which produced some of the finest pearls in the known ancient world. Topic. Chola Empire. Topic. During the 9th century, the Chola dynasty was once again revived by Vijayalaya Chola, who established Thanjavur as Chola's new capital by conquering central Tamil Nadu from Mutharayar and the Pandya king Varagunavarman II. Aditya I and his son Parantaka I expanded the kingdom to the northern parts of Tamil Nadu by defeating the last Pallava king, Aparahitavarman. Parantaka Chola II expanded the Chola Empire into what is now interior Andhra Pradesh and coastal Karnataka, while under the great Rajaraja Chola and his son Rajendra Chola, the Cholas rose to a notable power in Southeast Asia. Now the Chola Empire stretched as far as Bengal and Sri Lanka. At its peak, the empire spanned almost 3,600,000 square kilometres Rajaraja Chola conquered all of peninsular South India and parts of Sri Lanka. Rajendra Chola S Navy went even further, occupying coasts from Burma now to Vietnam, the Andaman and Nicobar Islands, Lakshadweep, Sumatra, Java, Malaya, Philippines in Southeast Asia and Pegu Islands. He defeated Mahapala, the king of Bengal, and to commemorate his victory he built a new capital and named it Ganjikonda Cholapuram. The Cholas were prolific temple builders right from the times of the first medieval king Vijayalaya Chola, these are the earliest specimen of Dravidian temples under the Cholas. His son Aditya I built several temples around the Kanshi and Kumbakonam regions. The Cholas went on to becoming a great power and built some of the most imposing religious structures in their lifetime and they also renovated temples and buildings of the Pallavas, acknowledging their common socio-religious and cultural heritage. The celebrated Nataraja temple at Chidambaram and the Sri Ranganathaswami temple at Sarangam held special significance for the Cholas which have been mentioned in their inscriptions as their tutelary deities. Rajaraja Chola I and his son Rajendra Chola built temples such as the Briadeshvara Temple of Thanjavur and Briadeshvara Temple of Ganjikonda Cholapuram, the Aravitsvara Temple of Darasuram and the Sarabeswara Shiva Temple, also called the Kampaharaswarar Temple at Thurabhuvanam, the last two temples being located near Kumbakonam. The first three of the above four temples are titled Great Living Chola Temples among the UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Topic. Vijayanagar and Nayak period 1336 
The Muslim invasions of southern India triggered the establishment of the Hindu Vijayanagara Empire with Vijayanagara in modern Karnataka as its capital. The Vijayanagara Empire eventually conquered the entire Tamil country by c. 1370 and ruled for almost two centuries until its defeat in the Battle of Talakota in 1565 by a confederacy of Deccan sultanates. Subsequently, as the Vijayanagara Empire went into decline after the mid-16th century, many local rulers, called Nayaks, succeeded in gaining the trappings of independence. This eventually resulted in the further weakening of the empire. Many Nayaks declared themselves independent, among whom the Nayaks of Madurai and Tanjore were the first to declare their independence, despite initially maintaining loose links with the Vijayanagara kingdom. The Nayaks of Madurai and Nayaks of Thanjavur were the most prominent of Nayaks in the 17th century. They reconstructed some of the well known temples in Tamil Nadu, such as the Meenakshi Temple. Power struggles of the 18th century (1688–1802). By the early 18th century, the political scene in Tamil Nadu saw a major change over and was under the control of many minor rulers aspiring to be independent. The fall of the Vijayanagara Empire and the Chandragiri Nayakas gave the Sultanate of Golconda a chance to expand into the Tamil heartland. When the Sultanate was incorporated into the Mughal Empire in 1688, the northern part of current-day Tamil Nadu was administrated by the Nawab of the Carnatic, who had his seat in Arcot from 1715 onward. Meanwhile, to the south, the fall of the Thanjavur Nayaks led to a short-lived Thanjavur Maratha kingdom. The fall of the Madurai Nayaks brought up many small Nayakars of southern Tamil Nadu, who ruled small parcels of land called Palayams. The chieftains of these Palayams were known as Palayakarar or Polygar, as called by British, and were ruling under the Nawabs of the Carnatic. Europeans started to establish trade centres during the 17th century in the eastern coastal regions. Around 1609, the Dutch established a settlement in Pulikat, while the Danes had their establishment in Tharangambadi also known as Trankabare. In 1639, the British, under the East India Company, established a settlement further south of Pulikat, in present-day Chennai. British constructed Fort St. George and established a trading post at Madras. The office of Mayoralty of Chennai was established in 1688. The French established trading posts at Pondicherry by 1693. The British and French were competing to expand the trade in the northern parts of Tamil Nadu which also witnessed many battles like Battle of Wandawash as part of the Seven Years' War. British reduced the French dominions in India to Puducherry. Nawabs of the Carnatic bestowed tax revenue collection rights on the East India Company for defeating the Kingdom of Mysore. Muhammad Ali Khan Walaja surrendered much of his territory to the East India Company which firmly established the British in the northern parts. In 1762, a tripartite treaty was signed between Thanjavur Maratha, Carnatic and the British by which Thanjavur became a vassal of the Nawab of the Carnatic which eventually ceded to British. In the south, Nawabs granted taxation rights to the British which led to conflicts between British and the Palayakarar, which resulted in series of wars called Palligar War to establish independent states by the aspiring Palayakarar. Puli the Var was one of the earliest opponents of the British rule in South India. The Var's prominent exploits were his confrontations with Marudanayagam, who later rebelled against the British in the late 1750s and early 1760s. Rani Valu Nakiya, was the first woman freedom fighter of India and Queen of Sivaganjai. She was drawn to war after her husband Mutu Vaduganatha the Var King of Sivaganga was murdered at Kalayar Koval Temple by British. Before her death, Queen Valu Nachi granted powers to the Maruthu brothers to rule Sivaganga. Katabaman (1760–1799), Palayakara chief of Panchalakarichi who fought the British in the First Palayakar War. He was captured by the British at the end of the war and hanged near Kayatar in 1799. Viran Sundaralingam (1700–1800) was the general of Katabaman Nayakan. S. Palayam, who died in the process of blowing up a British ammunition dump in 1799 which killed more than 150 British soldiers to save Katapaman Palace. Oamitharai, younger brother of Katabaman, took asylum under the Maruthu brothers, Periyamarudu and Chinna Marudu and raised an army. 
They formed a coalition with Diran Chinnamalai and Kerala Varma Pazasi Raja which fought the British in Second Polygar Wars. Diran Chinnamalai (1756–1805), Polygar chieftain of Kongu and feudatory of Tipu Sultan, who fought the British in the Second Polygar War. After winning the Polygar Wars in 1801, the East India Company consolidated most of southern India into the Madras Presidency. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> British rule (1801–1947). Topic. At the beginning of the 19th century, the British firmly established governance over entirety of Tamil Nadu. The Velour Mutiny on 10 July 1806 was the first instance of a large-scale mutiny by Indian sepoys against the British East India Company, predating the Indian Rebellion of 1857 by half a century. The revolt, which took place in Velour, was brief, lasting one full day, but brutal as mutineers broke into the Velour fort and killed or wounded 200 British troops, before they were subdued by reinforcements from nearby Arcot. The British Crown took over the control governance from the company and the remainder of the 19th century did not witness any native resistance until the beginning of 20th century Indian independence movements. During the administration of Governor George Harris 1854 measures were taken to improve education and increase representation of Indians in the administration. Legislative powers given to the Governor's Council under the Indian Councils Act 1861 and 1909 Minto Morley reforms eventually led to the establishment of the Madras Legislative Council. Failure of the summer monsoons and administrative shortcomings of the rightuary system resulted in two severe famines in the Madras Presidency, the Great Famine of 1876–78 and the Indian Famine of 1896–97. The famine led to migration of people as bonded labours for British to various countries which eventually formed the present Tamil diaspora. Topic India 1947 present Topic When India became independent in 1947, Madras Presidency became Madras State, comprising present-day Tamil Nadu, coastal Andhra Pradesh up to Ganjam district in Odisha, South Kanara district Karnataka, and parts of Kerala. The state was subsequently split up along linguistic lines. In 1969, Madras State was renamed Tamil Nadu, meaning Tamil country. Topic Geography Topic Tamil Nadu covers an area of 130,058 square kilometers, 50,216 square miles, and is the 11th largest state in India. The bordering states are Kerala to the west, Karnataka to the northwest, and Andhra Pradesh to the north. To the east is the Bay of Bengal, and the state encircles the Union Territory of Puducherry. The southernmost tip of the Indian peninsula is Kanyakumari which is the meeting point of the Arabian Sea, the Bay of Bengal, and the Indian Ocean. The western, southern and the northwestern parts are hilly and rich in vegetation. The western Ghats and the eastern Ghats meet at the Nilgiri Hills. The western Ghats traverse the entire western border with Kerala, effectively blocking much of the rain-bearing clouds of the south-west monsoon from entering the state. The eastern parts are fertile coastal plains and the northern parts are a mix of hills and plains. The central and the south-central regions are arid plains and receive less rainfall than the other regions. Tamil Nadu has the country's third longest coastline at about 906.9 kilometres Tamil Nadu's coastline bore the brunt of the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami when it hit India, which caused 7,793 direct deaths in the state. Tamil Nadu falls mostly in a region of low seismic hazard with the exception of the western border areas that lie in a low to moderate hazard zone. As per the 2002 Bureau of Indian Standards BIS map, Tamil Nadu falls in zones 2 and 3. Historically, parts of this region have experienced seismic activity in the M5.0 range. Topic climate topic Tamil Nadu is mostly dependent on monsoon rains, and thereby is prone to droughts when the monsoons fail. The climate of the state ranges from dry sub-humid to semi-arid. The state has two distinct periods of rainfall, southwest monsoon from June to September, with strong southwest winds, northeast monsoon from October to December, with dominant northeast winds. The annual rainfall of the state is about 945 mm in, of which 48% is through the northeast monsoon, and 32% through the southwest monsoon. Since the state is entirely dependent on rains for recharging its water resources, monsoon failures lead to acute water scarcity and severe drought. 
Tamil Nadu is divided into seven agro-climatic zones, northeast, northwest, west, southern, high rainfall, high altitude hilly, and Kaveri Delta the most fertile agricultural zone. Topic flora and fauna topic There are about 2,000 species of wildlife that are native to Tamil Nadu. Protected areas provide safe habitat for large mammals including elephants, tigers, leopards, wild dogs, sloth bears, gowers, lion-tailed macaques, nilgiri langurs, nilgiri tars, grizzled giant squirrels and sambar deer, resident and migratory birds such as cormorants, darters, herons, egrets, open-billed storks, spoonbills and white ibises, little grebes, Indian moorhen, black-winged stilts, a few migratory ducks and occasionally grey pelicans, marine species such as the dugongs, turtles, Turtles, dolphins, balanoglossus, and a wide variety of fish and insects. Indian angiosperm diversity comprises 17,672 species, with Tamil Nadu leading all states in the country, with 5,640 species accounting for one third of the total flora of India. This includes 1,559 species of medicinal plants, 533 endemic species, 260 species of wild relatives of cultivated plants and 230 red listed species. The gymnosperm diversity of the country is 64 species of which Tamil Nadu has 4 indigenous species and about 60 introduced species. The pteridophytes diversity of India includes 1022 species of which Tamil Nadu has about 184 species. Vast numbers of bryophytes, lichen, fungi, algae and bacteria are among the wild plant diversity of Tamil Nadu. Common plant species include the state tree, palmyra palm, eucalyptus, rubber, cinchona, clumping bamboos, bambusa arundinacea, common teak, anogysis latifolia, Indian laurel, gruya, and blooming trees like Indian labamusum, ardesia, and solanaceae. Rare and unique plant life includes Combretum ovalifolium, Ebony Diaspyras nilagrica, Habinaria rariflora Orchid, Alcephila, Impatiens elegans, Ranunculus reniformis, and Royal Fern. <laughs> National and state parks Tamil Nadu has a wide range of biomes extending east from the southwestern Ghats montane rain forests in the western Ghats through the south Deccan Plateau dry deciduous forests and Deccan thorn scrub forests to tropical dry broadleaf forests and then to the beaches, estuaries, salt marshes, mangroves, seagrasses and coral reefs of the Bay of Bengal. The state has a range of flora and fauna with many species and habitats. To protect this diversity of wildlife there are protected areas of Tamil Nadu as well as biospheres which protect larger areas of natural habitat often include one or more national parks. The Gulf of Manar Biosphere Reserve established in 1986 is a marine ecosystem with seaweed seagrassgrass communities, coral reefs, salt marshes and mangrove forests. The Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve located in the Western Ghats and Nilgiri Hills comprises part of adjoining states of Kerala and Karnataka. The Agasthamala Biosphere Reserve is in the southwest of the state bordering Kerala in the Western Ghats. Tamil Nadu is home to five declared national parks located in Anamalai, Mudumalai, Makorithi, Gulf of Manar, Gwindi located in the center of Chennai city and Vandalur located in South Chennai. Satyamangalam Tiger Reserve, Mukurthy National Park and Kalakad Mundantharai Tiger Reserve are the tiger reserves in the state. Governance and administration The governor is the constitutional head of the state while the chief minister is the head of the government and the head of the council of ministers. The chief justice of the Madras High Court is the head of the judiciary. The present governor, chief minister and the chief justice are Banwarilal Purohit governor, Idapati K. Palaniswamy and Vijaya Kamlesh Tahilramani respectively. Administratively the state is divided into 32 districts. Chennai formerly known as Madras is the state capital. It is the fourth largest urban agglomeration in India and is also one of the major metropolitan cities of India. The state comprises 39 Lok Sabha constituencies and 234 Legislative Assembly constituencies. Tamil Nadu had a bicameral legislature until 1986, when it was replaced with a unicameral legislature, like most other states in India. The term length of the government is five years. The present government is headed by Edapati K. Palaniswamy, after the demise of former Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, J. Jayalalitha of the All India Anna Dravida Munitra Kazagam. 
The Tamil Nadu Legislative Assembly is housed at the Fort St. George in Chennai. The state had come under the president's rule on four occasions, first from 1976 to 1977, next for a short period in 1980, then from 1988 to 1989 and the latest in 1991. Tamil Nadu has been a pioneering state of e-governance initiatives in India. A large part of the government records like land ownership records are digitized and all major offices of the state government like urban local bodies, all the corporations and municipal office activities, revenue collection, land registration offices, and transport offices have been computerized. Tamil Nadu is one of the states where law and order has been maintained largely successfully. The Tamil Nadu police force is over 140 years old. It is the fifth largest state police force in India as of 2015. Total police force of TN is 1, 11,448 and has the highest proportion of women police personnel in the country. Total women police personnel of TN is 13,842 which is about 12.42% to specifically handled violence against women in Tamil Nadu. In 2003, the state had a total police population ratio of 1 to 668, higher than the national average of 1 to 717. Topic: <inaudible> Administrative subdivisions. Topic: Tamil Nadu is subdivided into 32 districts, which are listed below. A district is administered by a district collector who is mostly an Indian Administrative Service IAS member, appointed by state government. Districts are further divided into 226 taliks administrated by tasildes comprising 1127 revenue blocks. A district has also one or more revenue divisions in total 76 constituted by many revenue blocks 16564 revenue villages village panchayat are the primary grassroots level administrative units which in turn might include many villages and administered by a village administrative officer vao many of which form a revenue block cities and towns are administered by municipal corporations and municipalities respectively the urban bodies include 12 city corporations, 125 municipalities and 529 town panchayats. The rural bodies include 31 district panchayats, 385 panchayat unions and 12,524 village panchayats. Politics Pre-independence Prior to Indian independence Tamil Nadu was under British colonial rule as part of the Madras Presidency. The main party in Tamil Nadu at that time was the Indian National Congress Inc. Regional parties have dominated state politics since 1916. One of the earliest regional parties, the South Indian Welfare Association, a forerunner to Dravidian parties in Tamil Nadu, was started in 1916. The party was called after its English organ, Justice Party, by its opponents. Later, South Indian Liberal Federation was adopted as its official name. The reason for victory of the Justice Party in elections was the non-participation of the INC, demanding complete independence of India. The Justice Party which was under E. V. Ramaswamy was renamed Dravidar Kazagam in 1944. It was a non-political party which demanded the establishment of an independent state called Dravida Nadu. However, due to the differences between its two leaders E. V. R. and C. N. Anadurai, the party was split. Anadurai left the party to form the Dravida Munitra Kazagam DMK. The DMK decided to enter politics in 1956. Post-independence Demographics Tamil Nadu is the seventh most populous state in India, 48.4% of the state's population live in urban areas, the second highest percentage among large states in India. The state has registered the lowest fertility rate in India in year 2005-06 with 1.7 children born for each woman, lower than required for population sustainability. At the 2011 India census, Tamil Nadu had a population of 72,147,030. 
The sex ratio of the state is 995 with 36,137,975 males and 36,009,055 females. There are a total of 23,166,721 households. The total children under the age of 6 is 7,423,832. A total of 14,438,445 people constituting 20.01% of the total population belong to scheduled castes and 794,697 people constituting 1.10% of the population belong to scheduled tribes street. .The state has 51,837,507 literates, making the literacy rate 80.33%. There are a total of 27,878,282 workers, comprising 4,738,819 cultivators, 6,062,786 agricultural laborers, 1,261,059 in household industries, 11,695,119 other workers, 4,120,499 marginal workers, 377,000 220 marginal cultivators, 2,574,844 marginal agricultural laborers, 238,702 marginal workers in household industries and 929,733 other marginal workers. List of most populous towns in Tamil Nadu among the cities in 2011, the state capital, Chennai, was the most populous city in the state, followed by Coimbatore, Madurai, Trichy and Salem respectively. India has a Human Development Index calculated as 0.619, while the corresponding figure for Tamil Nadu is 0.736, placing it among the top states in the country. The life expectancy at birth for males is 65.2 years and for females it is 67.6 years. However, it has a high level of poverty especially in the rural areas. In 2004-2005, the poverty line was set at 351 rupees and 86 paise per month for rural areas and 547 rupees and 42 paise per month for urban areas. Poverty in the state dropped from 51.7% in 1983 to 21.1% in 2001 for the period 2004-2005. The trend in incidence of poverty in the state was 22.5% compared with the national figure of 27.5%. The World Bank is currently assisting the state in reducing poverty. High dropout and low completion of secondary schools continue to hinder the quality of training in the population. Other problems include class, gender, inter district, and urban rural disparities. Based on ERP, consumption for the period 2004 2005, percentage of the state's population below poverty line was 27.5%. The Oxford Poverty and Human Development Initiative ranks Tamil Nadu to have a multidimensional poverty index of 0.141, which is in the level of Ghana among the developing countries. Corruption is a major problem in the state with Transparency International ranking it the second most corrupt among the states of India. Topic religion Topic As per the religious census of 2011, Tamil Nadu had 87.6% Hindus, 6.1% Christians, 5.9% Muslims, 0.1% Jains and 0.3% following other religions or no religion. Topic language Topic Tamil Tamil is the sole official language of Tamil Nadu, while English is declared an additional official language for communication purposes. When India adopted national standards, Tamil was the first language to be recognized as a classical language of India. As of 2001 census, Tamil is spoken as the first language by 89.41% of the state's population followed by Telugu 5.65%, Kannada 1.67%, Urdu 1.51% and Malayalam 0.89%. Other languages spoken are Hindi, Gujarati, Marathi, Bengali etc. which are mostly spoken by migrant people. Topic education Topic Tamil Nadu is one of the most literate states in India. Tamil Nadu has performed reasonably well in terms of literacy growth during the decade 2001-2011. A survey conducted by the industry body Asosham ranks Tamil Nadu top among Indian states with about 100% gross enrollment ratio in primary and upper primary education. 
One of the basic limitations for improvement in education in the state is the rate of absence of teachers in public schools, which at 21.4% is significant. The analysis of primary school education in the state by Pratham shows a low drop-off rate but poor quality of state education compared to other states. Tamil Nadu has 37 universities, 552 engineering colleges, 449 polytechnic colleges and 566 arts and science colleges, 34,335 elementary schools, 5,167 high schools, 5,054 higher secondary schools and 5,000 hospitals. Some of the notable educational institutes present in Tamil Nadu are Indian Institute of Technology Madras, College of Engineering, Gwindi, Indian Institute of Management Tiruchirappalli, St. Joseph's Institute of Management Tiruchirappalli, Indian Maritime University, National Institute of Technology, Tiruchirappalli, Tamil Nadu Dr. Ambedkar Law University, Madras Medical College, Stanley Medical College, Chennai, Loyola College, Chennai, Etheridge College for Women, Stella Maris College, Chennai, Anna University, Government College of Technology, Coimbatore, Bharathiyar University, Coimbatore and Tamil Nadu Agricultural University, Coimbatore, Sri Ramachandra Medical College and Research Institute. Tamil Nadu now has 69% reservation in educational institutions for socially backward section of the society, the highest among all Indian states. The Midday Meal Scheme program in Tamil Nadu was first initiated by Kamaraj, then it was expanded by M. G. Ramachandran in 1983. Culture Topic. Tamil Nadu has a long tradition of venerable culture. Tamil Nadu is known for its rich tradition of literature, art, music and dance which continue to flourish today. Tamil Nadu is a land most known for its monumental ancient Hindu temples and classical form of dance Bharata Natyam. Unique cultural features like Bharata Natyam dance, Tanjore painting, and Tamil architecture were developed and continue to be practiced in Tamil Nadu. Literature <inaudible> 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 Tamil written literature has existed for over 2,000 years. The earliest period of Tamil literature, Sangam literature, is dated from ca. 300 BC, AD 300. It is the oldest Indian literature amongst all others. The earliest epigraphic records found on rock edicts and hero stones date from around the 3rd century BC. Most early Tamil literary works are in verse form, with prose not becoming more common until later periods. The Sangam Literature Collection contains 2,381 poems composed by 473 poets, some 102 of whom remain anonymous. Sangam literature is primarily secular, dealing with everyday themes in a Tamilicum context. The Sangam literature also deals with human relationship and emotions. The available literature from this period was categorized and compiled in the 10th century into two categories based roughly on chronology. The categories are Pathanan Myelkanaku, the major 18 anthology series comprising Edittakai, the 8 anthologies, and the Padapatu, 10 idols, and Pathaninkilkanaku, the minor 18 anthology series. Much of Tamil grammar is extensively described in the oldest known grammar book for Tamil, the Tolkapiyam. Modern Tamil writing is largely based on the 1000 BC grammar nanual which restated and clarified the rules of the Tolkapiyam with some modifications. Traditional Tamil grammar consists of five parts, namely Alutu, Sal, Poral, Yapu, Ani. Of these, the last two are mostly applied in poetry. Notable example of Tamil poetry include the Tirukural written by Tiruvayuvar before 2000 years. In 1578, the Portuguese published a Tamil book in Old Tamil script named Tambiran Vanakam, thus making Tamil the first Indian language to be printed and published. Tamil lexicon, published by the University of Madras, is the first among the dictionaries published in any Indian language. During the Indian freedom struggle, many Tamil poets and writers sought to provoke national spirit, social equity and secularist thoughts among the common man, notably Subramanya Bharathi and Bharathidasan. <laughs> Festivals and traditions 
Pongal, also called as Tamizar Thirunal Festival of Tamils or Makara Sankrani elsewhere in India, a four-day harvest festival is one of the most widely celebrated festivals throughout Tamil Nadu. The Tamil language saying Thai Parandal Vazi Parakam, literally meaning, the birth of the month of Thai will pave way for new opportunities, is often quoted with reference to this festival. The first day, Bogi Pongal, is celebrated by throwing away and destroying old clothes and materials by setting them on fire to mark the end of the old and emergence of the new. The second day, Surya Pongal, is the main day which falls on the first day of the 10th Tamil month Thai the 14th of January or the 15th of January in Western calendar. The third day, Matu Pongal, is meant to offer thanks to the cattle, as they provide milk and are used to plough the lands. Jalikatu, a bull taming contest, marks the main event of this day. Alanganalore is famous for its Jalikatu contest, usually held on third day of Pongal. During this final day, Kanam Pongal, the word Kanam means to view in Tamil. In 2011 the Madras High Court bench ordered the cockfight at Santhapati and Matakor Melbegam villages permitted during the Pongal festival while disposing of a petition filed attempting to ban the cockfight. The first month in the Tamil calendar is Chittarai and the first day of this month in mid-April is celebrated as Tamil New Year. The Thiruvallavar calendar is 31 years ahead of the Gregorian calendar, i.e. Gregorian 2000 is Thiruvallavar 2031. Adi Puruku is celebrated on the 18th day of the Tamil month Adi, which celebrates the rising of the water level in the river Kaveri. Apart from the major festivals, in every village and town of Tamil Nadu, the inhabitants celebrate festivals for the local gods once a year and the time varies from place to place. Most of these festivals are related to the goddess Mariamman, the mother goddess of rain. Other major Hindu festivals including Deepavali Death of Narakasura, Ayuda Pujai, Saraswati Pujai Dussara, Krishna Jayanti and Vinayaka Chaturthi are also celebrated. Eid ul Fitr, Bakrid, Malad un Nabi, Maharam are celebrated by Muslims whereas Christmas, Good Friday, Easter are celebrated by Christians in the state. Mahamagama Bathing Festival at Kumbakonam in Tamil Nadu is celebrated once in 12 years. People from all the corners of the country come to Kumbakonam for the festival. This festival is also called as Kumbamela of South. Music In terms of modern cine music, Ilayaraja was a prominent composer of film music in Tamil cinema during the late 1970s and 1980s. His work highlighted Tamil folk lyricism and introduced broader Western musical sensibilities to the South Indian musical mainstream. Tamil Nadu is also the home of the double Oscar winner A.R. Rahman who has composed film music in Tamil, Telugu, Hindi films, English and Chinese films. He was once referred to by Time magazine as the Mozart of Madras. Topic. Film industry. Topic. Tamil Nadu is also home to the Tamil film industry nicknamed as Kaliwood, which released the most number of films in India in 2013. The term Kaliwood is a portmanteau of Kodambakam and Hollywood. Tamil cinema is one of the largest industries of film production in India. In Tamil Nadu, cinema ticket prices are regulated by the government. Single screen theaters may charge a maximum of 50 rupees while theaters with more than 3 screens may charge a maximum of 120 rupees per ticket. The first silent film in Tamil Kichak of Adam was made in 1916. The first talkie was a multilingual film Kalidas which released on the 31st of October 1931 barely 7 months after India's first talking picture Alam era. Swami Kanu Vincent, who had built the first cinema of South India in Coimbatore, introduced the concept of tent cinema in which a tent was erected on a stretch of open land close to a town or village to screen the films. The first of its kind was established in Madras, called Edison's Grand Cinema Megaphone. This was due to the fact that electric carbons were used for motion picture projectors. Television industry Topic. There are more than 30 television channels of various genre in Tamil. D.D. Podagai, Doordarshan's Tamil language regional channel was launched on 14 April 1993. 
The first private Tamil channel, Sun TV was founded in 1993 by Kalanidhi Moran. In Tamil Nadu, the television industry is influenced by politics and majority of the channels are owned by politicians or people with political links. The government of Tamil Nadu distributed free televisions to families in 2006 at an estimated cost 3.6 billion rupees $50 million, of which has led to high penetration of TV services. Cable used to be the preferred mode of reaching homes controlled by government-run operator Arasu Cable. From the early 2010s, Direct to Home has become increasingly popular replacing cable television services. Tamil television serials form a major prime time source of entertainment and are directed usually by one director unlike American television series, where often several directors and writers work together. Cuisine <coughs> 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 Items that are native to Tamil Nadu are idli, dosa, sambar, variety of chutney, idiyappam, vadai santhakai, sandavai, athirasam, chakarai pongal and kuli paniyaram. Salem is renowned for its unique mangoes, Madurai is the place of origin of milk dessert jigarthanda while Palani is known for its panchamirtham. Coffee and tea are the staple drinks. Economy <inaudible> <inaudible> Topic. For the year 2014-15 Tamil Nadu's GSDP was 9.767 trillion rupees $140 billion, and growth was 14.86. It ranks third in foreign direct investment FDI approvals cumulative 1991-2002 of 225.826 billion rupees $5,000 million, next only to Maharashtra and Delhi constituting 9.12% of the total FDI in the country. The per capita income in 2007-2008 for the state was 72,993 rupees ranking third among states with a population over 10 million and has steadily been above the national average. According to the 2011 census, Tamil Nadu is the most urbanized state in India 49%, accounting for 9.6% of the urban population while only comprising 6% of India's total population. Services contributes to 45% of the economic activity in the state, followed by manufacturing at 34% and agriculture at 21%. Government is the major investor in the state with 51% of total investments, followed by private Indian investors at 29.9% and foreign private investors at 14.9%. Tamil Nadu has a network of about 113 industrial parks and estates offering developed plots with supporting infrastructure. According to the publications of the Tamil Nadu government the gross state domestic product at constant prices base year 2004-2005 for the year 2011-2012 is 4.281 trillion rupees 60 billion dollars an increase of 9.39% over the previous year the per capita income at current price is 72993 rupees Tamil Nadu has six nationalized home banks which originated in this state, two government sector banks Indian Bank and Indian Overseas Bank in Chennai, and four private sector banks City Union Bank in Kumbakonam, Karur Visya Bank, Lakshmi Vilas Bank in Karur, and Tamilnad Mercantile Bank Limited in Tutakoran. Agriculture <inaudible> 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 Tamil Nadu has historically been an agricultural state and is a leading producer of agricultural products in India. In 2008, Tamil Nadu was India's fifth biggest producer of rice. The total cultivated area in the state was 5.60 million hectares in 2009-10. The Kaveri Delta region is known as the rice bowl of Tamil Nadu. In terms of production, Tamil Nadu accounts for 10% in fruits and 6% in vegetables, in India. Annual food grains production in the year 2007-08 was 10,035,000 mount. The state is the largest producer of bananas, turmeric, flowers, tapioca, the second largest producer of mango, natural rubber, coconut, groundnut and the third largest producer of coffee, sapota, tea and sugarcane. Tamil Nadu's sugarcane yield per hectare is the highest in India. The state has 17,000 hectares of land under oil palm cultivation, the second highest in India. Dr. M. S. Swaminathan, known as the father of the Indian Green Revolution, was from Tamil Nadu. 
Tamil Nadu Agricultural University with its seven colleges and 32 research stations spread over the entire state contributes to evolving new crop varieties and technologies and disseminating through various extension agencies. Among states in India, Tamil Nadu is one of the leaders in livestock, poultry and fisheries production. Tamil Nadu had the second largest number of poultry amongst all the states and accounted for 17.7% of the total poultry population in India. In 2003–2004, Tamil Nadu had produced 3,783.6 million of eggs, which was the second highest in India representing 9.37% of the total egg production in the country. With the second longest coastline in India, Tamil Nadu represented 27.54% of the total value of fish and fishery products exported by India in 2006. Namakal is also one of the major centres of egg production in India. Coimbatore is one of the major centres for poultry production. Textiles and leather Tamil Nadu is one of the leading states in the textile sector and it houses the country's largest spinning industry accounting for almost 80% of the total installed capacity in India. When it comes to yarn production, the state contributes 40% of the total production in the country. There are 2,614 hand processing units, 25% of total units in the country, and 985 power processing units, 40% of total units in the country, in Tamil Nadu. According to official data, the textile industry in Tamil Nadu accounts for 17% of the total invested capital in all the industries. Coimbatore is often referred to as the Manchester of South India due to its cotton production and textile industries. Tirupur is the country's largest exporter of knitwear, for its cotton production. The region around Coimbatore, Tirupur, Paladam, Karur, and Erode is referred to as the Textile Valley of India, with the export from the Tirupur 50,000 million rupees $1, million, and Karur generates around 35,500 million rupees $750 million, a year in foreign exchange. Rajapalayam, Gobashedipalayam, Palachi, Udamalpet, Thini, and Vedasandor are known for its cotton spinning mills. Gobashedipalayam is a prominent producer of white silk with the country's first automated silk reeling unit present here. Kanchipuram and Irani are world famous for their pure silk saris and hand loom silk weaving industries. Arupukatai, Salem, and Satyamangalam are also famous for art silk saris. Rajapalayam, Srivaliputhar, Sankarankoval, Andipati, Tiruchengodu, Paramakudi, Karinjapati, Chennamalai, Komarapalayam are major handloom centers. Rajapalayam, Srivaliputhar, Sankarankoval, Negamam, Sinalapati, Warayur, Pachampali are famous for its soft cotton sari weaving. Madurai is known for its Chungjidi cotton saris and Bhavani for its cotton carpets. Topic automobiles Topic Tamil Nadu has seen major investments in the automobile industry over many decades manufacturing cars, railway coaches, battle tanks, tractors, motorcycles, automobile spare parts and accessories, tires and heavy vehicles. Chennai is known as the Detroit of India. Major global automobile companies including BMW, Ford, Robert Bosch, Renault-Nissan, Caterpillar, Hyundai, Mitsubishi Motors, and Michelin as well as Indian automobile majors like Mahindra and Mahindra, Ashok Leyland, Hindustan Motors, TVs Motors, Irizar TVs, Royal Enfield, MRF, Apollo Tires, Tafe Tractors, Daimler Chrysler AG Company also invested rupee 4 billion for establishing new plant in Tamil Nadu. Topic heavy industries and engineering Topic Tamil Nadu is one of the highly industrialized states in India. Over 11% of the S&P CNX 500 conglomerates have corporate offices in Tamil Nadu. Many heavy engineering and manufacturing companies are located in and around the suburbs of Chennai. Bharat Heavy Electricals, one of India's largest electrical equipment manufacturing companies, has manufacturing plants at Tiruchirappalli and Ranipet. India's leading steel producer, the state-owned Steel Authority of India has a steel plant in Salem. Sterlite Industries has a copper smelter at Tutakoran and an aluminium plant in Medar. The Chennai Petroleum Corporation is a state-owned oil and gas corporation headquartered in Chennai, and owns refineries at Manali and Panangudi. The state government owns the Tamil Nadu Newsprint and Papers, in Karur. 
Jointly with the Tata Group, the state owns the world's sixth largest manufacturer of watches, under the brand name of Titan, at Hoser. A number of large cement manufacturers, including the Chetanad Group, Ramco Cements, Tancham, the Dalmia Group, Ultratech Cements and ACC are present across the state. Coimbatore is also referred to as the Pump City as it supplies two-thirds of India's requirements of motors and pumps. The city is one of the largest exporters of wet grinders and auto components and the term Coimbatore wet grinder has been given a geographical indication. Topic electronics and software Topic Electronics manufacturing is a growing industry in Tamil Nadu, with many international companies like Nokia, Flextronics, Motorola, Sony Ericsson, Foxconn, Samsung, Cisco, Moser Bear, Lenovo, Dell, Sanmina Sai, Texas Instruments having chosen Chennai as their South Asian manufacturing hub. Products manufactured include circuit boards and cellular phone handsets. Tamil Nadu is the second largest software exporter by value in India. Software exports from Tamil Nadu grew from 76 billion rupees, 1.6 billion dollars in 2003-04 to 207 billion rupees, 5 billion dollars by 2006-07 according to NASCOM and to 366 billion rupees in 2008-09 which shows 29% growth in software exports according to STPI. Major national and global IT companies such as Sintel, Infosys, Wipro, HCL, Tata Consultancy Services, Verizon, Hewlett Packard, Bosch, Amazon.com, eBay, PayPal, IBM, Accenture, Ramco Systems, DXC Technology, Cognizant Technology Solutions, Tech Mahindra, Polaris, Aerocent, Emphasis, Mindtree, Hexaware Technologies, and many others have offices in Tamil Nadu. The top engineering colleges in Tamil Nadu have been a major recruiting hub for the IT firms. According to estimates, about 50% of the HR required for the IT and ITES industry was being sourced from the state. Coimbatore is the second largest software producer in the state, next to Chennai. Topic infrastructure topic topic Transport topic topic Road topic Tamil Nadu has a transportation system that connects all parts of the state. Tamil Nadu is served by an extensive road network, providing links between urban centers, agricultural market places and rural areas. There are 29 national highways in the state, covering a total distance of 5,006.14 km miles. The state is also a terminus for the Golden Quadrilateral Project, that connects Indian metropolises like New Delhi, Mumbai, Bengaluru, Chennai and Kolkata. The state has a total road length of 167,000 kilometers, 104,000 miles, of which 60,628 kilometers, 37,672 miles are maintained by Highways Department. This is nearly 2.5 times higher than the density of all India road network. The major road junctions are Chennai, Velour, Madurai, Trichy, Coimbatore, Salem, Tirunelveli, Tuticorin, Karur, Krishnagiri, Dindigul and Kanyakumari. Road transport is provided by state-owned Tamil Nadu State Transport Corporation and State Express Transport Corporation. Almost every part of state is well connected by buses 24 hours a day. The state accounted for 13.6% of all accidents in the country with 66,238 accidents in 2013, 11.3% of all road accident deaths and 15% of all road-related injuries, according to data provided by the Ministry of Road Transport and Highways. Although Tamil Nadu accounts for the highest number of road accidents in India, it also leads in having reduced the number of fatalities in accident-prone areas with deployment of personnel and a sustained awareness campaign. The number of deaths at areas decreased from 1,053 in 2011 to 881 in 2012 and 867 in 2013. Topic rail Topic Tamil Nadu has a well-developed rail network as part of Southern Railway. Headquartered at Chennai, the Southern Railway Network extends over a large area of India's southern peninsula, covering the states of Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Puducherry, a small portion of Karnataka and a small portion of Andhra Pradesh. Express trains connect the state capital Chennai with Mumbai, Delhi and Kolkata. Chennai Central is gateway for train towards north whereas Chennai Egmer serves as gateway for south. Tamil Nadu has a total railway track length of 5,952 kilometres 3,698 miles and there are 532 railway stations in the state. The network connects the state with most major cities in India. 
The Nilgiri Mountain Railway is one of the UNESCO World Heritage Site connecting Oti on the hills and Metupalayam in the foothills which is in turn connected to Coimbatore city. The centenary old Pamban Bridge over sea connecting Ramaswaram in Pamban Island to mainland is an engineering marvel. It is one of the oldest cantilever bridges still in operation. The double leaf bascule bridge section can be raised to let boats and small ships pass through Palk Strait in Indian Ocean. Chennai has a well established suburban railway network and is constructing a Chennai Metro with Phase 1 operational since July 2015. Major railway junctions four and above lines in the state are Chennai, Coimbatore, Kapadi, Madurai, Salem, Erode, Dindigul, Karur, Nagarkoil, Tiruchirappalli and Tirunelveli. Chennai Central, Madurai Junction, Kapadi Junction, Chennai Egmer, Salem Junction, Tiruchirappalli Junction, Coimbatore Junction are upgraded to A1 grade level. Loco sheds are located at Erod, Arakanam, Royapuram in Chennai and Tondayarpit in Chennai, Panmalai GOC in Tiruchirappalli as diesel loco shed. The loco shed at Erod is a huge composite electric and diesel loco shed. MRTS which covers from Chennai Beach to Velachery, and Metro Rail also running between Alandor and Koyambedu Station. <laughs> Airports. Topic. Tamil Nadu has four international airports namely Chennai International Airport, Coimbatore International Airport, Tiruchirappalli International Airport and Madurai International Airport. Salem Airport and Tuticorin Airport are domestic airports. Chennai International Airport is a major international airport and aviation hub in South Asia. Besides civilian airports, the state has four air bases of the Indian Air Force namely Thanjavur AFS, Tambram AFS, Coimbatore AFS and two naval air stations INS Rajali and INS Purundu of Indian Navy. Seaport Tamil Nadu has three major seaports located at Chennai, Ennore and Tuticorin, as well as seven other minor ports including Kudalore and Nagapatanam. Chennai Port is an artificial harbour situated on the Karamandal coast and is the second principal port in the country for handling containers. Ennore Port handles all the coal and ore traffic in Tamil Nadu. The volume of cargo in the ports grew by 13% during 2005. Energy Topic. Tamil Nadu has the third largest installed power generation capacity in the country. The Kalpakkam Nuclear Power Plant, Enor Thermal Plant, Naveli Lignite Power Plant, many hydroelectric plants including Metter Dam, hundreds of windmills and the Naramanam Natural Gas Plants are major sources of Tamil Nadu's electricity. Tamil Nadu generates a significant proportion of its power needs from renewable sources with wind power installed capacity at over 7,154 MW, accounting for 38% of total installed wind power in India. It is presently adding the Kudankulam nuclear power plant to its energy grid, which on completion would be the largest atomic power plant in the country with 2,000 MW installed capacity. The total installed capacity of electricity in the state by January 2014 was 20,716 megawatts. Tamil Nadu ranks first nationwide in diesel-based thermal electricity generation with a national market share of over 34%. From a power surplus state in 2005-06, Tamil Nadu has become a state facing severe power shortage over the recent years due to lack of new power generation projects and delay in the commercial power generation at Kudankulam Atomic Power Project. The Tutakoran Thermal Power Station has five 210 MW generators. The first generator was commissioned in July 1979. The thermal power plants under construction include the coal-based 1000 MW NLC TNEB power plant. From the current 17 MW installed solar power, Tamil Nadu government S new policy aims to increase the installed capacity to 3000 megawatts by 2016. Topic: Sports. Topic: Kabaddi is recognized as the state game in Tamil Nadu. 
The traditional sport of Tamil Nadu includes salambam, a Tamil martial arts played with a long bamboo staff, cockfight, jalikatu, a bull taming sport famous on festival occasions, ox wagon racing known as rekala, kite flying also known as patam viduthal, goli, the game with marbles, aadu puli, the goat and tiger game, and kabaddi also known as sadugadu. Most of these traditional sports are associated with festivals of land like Thai Pongal and mostly played in rural areas. In urban areas of Tamil Nadu, modern sports like bat and ball games are played. S. Alavazagi Karam World Champion from 2002 to 2016 The M. H. Adambaram Stadium in Chennai is an international cricket ground with a capacity of 50,000 and houses the Tamil Nadu Cricket Association. Srinivasaragavan Venkatagavan, Krishnamachari Srikanth, Laxman Sivaramakrishnan, Sadagapan Ramesh, Laxmipathi Balaji, Murali Vijay, Ravikandran Ashwin and Dinesh Kartik are some prominent cricketers from Tamil Nadu. The MRF Pace Foundation in Chennai is a popular fast bowling academy for pace bowlers all over the world. Cricket contests between local clubs, franchises and teams are popular in the state. Chennai Super Kings represent the city of Chennai in the Indian Premier League, a popular 2020 league. The Super Kings are the most successful team in the league with three IPL titles at par with Mumbai Indians and two CLT20 titles. Tennis is also a popular sport in Tamil Nadu with notable international players including Ramesh Krishnan, Ramanathan Krishnan, Vijay Amritraj and Mahesh Bhupati. Nirupama Vaidyanathan, the first Indian women to play in a Grand Slam tournament also hails from the state. The ATP Chennai Open tournament is held in Chennai every January. The Sports Development Authority of Tamil Nadu SDAT owns Nungabakam Tennis Stadium which hosts Chennai Open and Davis Cup playoff tournaments. The Tamil Nadu Hockey Association is the governing body of hockey in the state. Vasudevan Bhaskaran was the captain of the Indian team that won gold medal in 1980 Olympics at Moscow. The Mayor Radhakrishnan Stadium in Chennai hosts international hockey events and is regarded by the International Hockey Federation as one of the best in the world for its infrastructure. Tamil Nadu also has golf ground in Coimbatore. The Coimbatore Golf Club is an 18 hole golf course located in a place called Chedipalayam in Coimbatore, located within the city limits in the state of Tamil Nadu in India. The club is also a popular venue for major golf tournaments held in India. The Sports Development Authority of Tamil Nadu SDAT, a government body, is vested with the responsibility of developing sports and related infrastructure in the state. The SDAT owns and operates world-class stadiums and organizes sporting events. It also accommodates sporting events, both at domestic and international level, organized by other sports associations at its venues. The YMCA College of Physical Education at Nanandam in Chennai was established in 1920 and was the first college for physical education in Asia. The Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium in Chennai is a multipurpose stadium hosting football and track and field events. The Indian Triathlon Federation and the Volleyball Federation of India are headquartered in Chennai. Chennai hosted India's first ever International Beach Volleyball Championship in 2008. The SDAT, TNSRA Squash Academy in Chennai is one of the very few academies in South Asia hosting international squash events. Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium in Coimbatore, it is a football stadium and also a multipurpose stadium in Coimbatore constructed in 1971. Topic tourism Topic The tourism industry of Tamil Nadu is the largest in India, with an annual growth rate of 16%. Tourism in Tamil Nadu is promoted by Tamil Nadu Tourism Development Corporation TTDC, a government of Tamil Nadu undertaking. According to Ministry of Tourism Statistics, 4.68 million foreign share of the country and 333.5 million domestic tourists share of the country visited the state in 2015 making it the most visited state in India both domestic and foreign tourists. The state boasts some of the grand Hindu temples built in Dravidian architecture. The Brahadishwara temple in Thanjavur, Ganjikonda Cholapuram and the Aravitsvara temple in Darasuram built by the Cholas and the Shore temple along with the collection of other monuments in Mahabalipuram also called Mamalapuram have been declared as UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Irwadi in Ramanathapuram district is one of the major Islamic tourist attraction site. Topic. See also 
Topic. Topic. Notes. Topic. Topic. References. Topic. Topic. External links. Topic. Government. The official site of the government of Tamil Nadu. Official tourism site of Tamil Nadu, India General Information Tamil Nadu Encyclopedia Britannica Entry Tamil Nadu at Curlie Geographic data related to Tamil Nadu at OpenStreetMap